Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I just watched a uh, Mathis episode. He's doing alright. Ooh, the, the rate of fire here is ridiculous! 0SX3, zero 0GPX. Zero I'm a little scared um, because of the lack of knowledge of how much HP we have, but if we have a decent amount of HP, this is amazing. We do also have a Tinted Rock right over there. So we started with Circle of Protection, and then the D... Wow, no Spirit Arts. Tears Up, though, which is a little ridiculous, and then another Tears Up. Um, Circle of Protection, and then nothing? Well, I guess uh, the White Feather. All we need to do is live long enough to get some fucking... HP, or to get this curse, like, get rid of this curse, but, uh, I'm a little scared. What I was gonna say, though, was I was watching a Mathis episode. Wow, this is a much easier Ragman fight than the last one. Um, dude, I, I don't rag on Mathis to rag on Mathis. I rag on him in the same way I imagine siblings rag on one another. I never had a sibling, so I know if that's reality, the situation. But the dude started a run. He's got his own little, little streak, and it's impressive in its own way. He had like seven wins in a row. He started an Eden run with seven spirit hearts, and he was like, this sucks. I don't have any red hearts. I can't, like, take a deal with the devil. It's like, are you actually pulling out your pants? Which is not the way you usually say that. Are you, are you pulling on your pants? Oh, dang. Tinted rock, but we can't access it. At least we got a red heart, so we know we're good. Are you pulling on your pants and shitting on my penis? My erect penis, obviously. Um, I think we're just gonna take the chariot down to the next floor. Wish I'd used our bomb in a different place, but at least we'll probably be able to see where our HP is at right now. He ended up having a great run. I was just surprised that, you know, the Isaac gods had given him a great gift, and he still saw fit to insult the seven, uh, Spirit Heart Eden start, which is incredible. Not as incredible as our HP here, you know, thankfully for us, but... That, that's the mark of a man who has not experienced true pain on an Eden run yet. That's the mark of a man who has not, um... Who has not yet had his, like, half-spirit heart Eden run. Hasn't had his streak ruined by a... One spirit heart and then also Curse of the Unknown so you go into a curse room and then just instantly die sort of run. But you know what, Mathis? I appreciate that you, you said your piece on it. Even though I disagree with you, I defend you to the death to your right to say it. I'm just gonna call back to the last episode, I guess. Um, stoked to have a Tinted Rock here. Honestly, like, I might be one to talk. I was gonna complain a little bit about this run, uh, when I had Curse of the Unknown. But that's just because I didn't know how much HP we have, uh, or we had, I should say. Now that I'm looking at this run, you know, I've got the, uh, the blinders off. I can really see how good this run looks, and it looks pretty darn good. It wasn't even our tier stat that was that good, it was just uh, our shot speed, I guess, because we do have Whip Worm, but, uh... It's, uh, it's pretty solid, I mean, the Spirit Arts are off the chain right now, Cricket's Body is awesome and cool synergies for later. Circle of Protection, I basically have no idea what it even does. Luck up, luck up, aw, oh, dang it. Um, but, uh, I guess I'm happy with it regardless. If we can get, like, a uh, small rock here, which we didn't, it's, it's golden chests are out of control. But, uh, somebody's gotta stop them. Somebody's gotta stop him. That classic quote from the Jim Carrey film, The Matrix. Uh, I honestly think that the White Feather Crack the Sky has actually been pretty good for us. Well, I'm thankful we got Balls of Steel there. Has actually been pretty good for us, so I'm not gonna get rid of that. Uh, at least not just to pick up uh, something a little... You know, it just feels like it's insulting, is what I'm trying to get at here. It's insulting an item that really destroyed Ragman for us when I was a little frightened about what our HP looked like it could be. Let's see how we do here. We definitely have the HP required to finance the deal with the devil and feel pretty good about it. Uh, are you a wizard just wore off? More spirit hearts and more tears. And we'll definitely take both, I guess. Like, our spirit heart action's been pretty good. And Guppy's Collar, of course, gives us the extra chance to... Uh, become guppy a little bit later, and we'll continue exploring on this floor. I'd like to go to the shop, but the odds are we probably won't get a key. If we get a key, that's sweet, though. But we'll see if we get, you know, any other consumable. Another Tinted Rock or something. Yeah, okay. There it is. Key would be perfect here. <laughs> Just got another damn golden chest. Luck up, luck up, luck up, luck up. Ah, fudge. Okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll leave. Honestly, this run is amazing right now. 
and it was incredible to me. What's what's more impressive, incredible or amazing? I think incredible is like if someone said, "Hey, amazing work," I'd be like, "That's like a nine and a half out of 10. If someone said, "Incredible work," hey, incredible work on that Murphy file, I'd be like, "That boss just gave me a solid ten. That's a perfect ten, dude." Incredible, better than amazing. We just proved it here live on the show. Two of spades and the devil. We'll hold two of spades. Uh, you know my philosophy on two of spades. I don't worry too much about min-maxing it anymore. Unless we have like a Yara rune. The keys are just taunting me now. Uh, I worry more about uh, just making sure that we can use it effectively. And if we were just speedrunning here trying to pack away these like 15 minute episodes, this floor would be a godsend. Basically fought nothing and found our boss. Um... Still some enemies left here. We're going to fight the boss, see if we get a deal with the devil. We're at uh, eight and a half spirit hearts. My favorite amount of spirit hearts based on a Federico Fellini film. Way better than Cinema Verite spirit hearts. This is nonsensical. Uh, I would probably be okay taking a, a, a deal with the devil, assuming that I can be somewhat aggressive about it. Instead, we got toothpicks, which is actually also fantastic. Uh, really good DPS upgrade. I can't complain. If you, like with our HP stacked up this high, if you just want to keep giving us DPS upgrades, then I'm having the time of my life, and I owe it all to you right now. You know, it's like the climax of Dirty Dancing in here. You guys ever see the Cheers-based parody of Dirty Dancing called Dirty Ted Dancing? It doesn't exist, but it would be sick if it did. Um, don't trade a bomb for a key. I think we'll use our bomb here. I know there's been tinted rocks and, you know, other opportunities to maybe trade for bombs, but I don't think that we need to worry about that too much. Like, tinted rocks at this point, spirit hearts are not bad, obviously, but, uh, we've already gotten a lot of value out of, out of spirit hearts. We've gotten small rocks, so my desire to get spirit hearts is still there, but not as urgently as previous. We got Bob's brain, which I, I'm basically holding at this point because it might accidentally blow up some stuff that we, we want to blow up. But uh, it's going to be real tough to line up stuff to hit because of the knockback from, like, Whipworm here. But we could always just get rid of Whipworm as well. This run is is going pretty nice so far. Honestly, great HP upgrade in our item room would be something that would tickle my fancy quite a, quite a good bit right now. Um, financing future deals with the devil, the principal concern there. I'm not so w much worried about my survival, I just know that there's no depths to the level of my greed in the Binding of Isaac, so I would probably be pretty easily persuaded to uh, to take some deals with the devil that maybe are against my better judgment. So I figure you use the sun here. We are in the market to use two of spades, like it gives us three keys now, so we might want to consider popping it before we go into a room. Blood bank is a little too risky for me right now, to be honest with you. No skulls in there to blow up. We're still like, we're we're taking our time to perfect the beat, obviously. And I don't even need to tell you, I got love for the streets. But we're still like, we're going to be like two and a half minutes ahead of schedule for Boss Rush. Which is sweet, because on the last run, we were not even close. Uh, I forgot to pop it. <laughs> That's okay. Use our bomb here. Uh, we got to exactly seven cents, as you might expect. Just gonna pick up Pandora's box, pop it immediately. Dude, that's sweet. Experimental treatment and not HP, but at least gets us a little closer to the spun transformation. Uh, you gotta go sad onion here, even though our tier rate is like incredibly solid. And now we'll just hold the two of spades and use it on the next floor, perhaps. Uh, we will go to our secret room though. And what was this one again? The devil, not really worth holding. Uh, button one is a penny, button two is enemies, and nothing with that bomb, so I'm just out of here. Alright, eight minutes, two seconds, run still going solid, eight HP, wouldn't it be ironic, and it, maybe it's not ironic, maybe it's just coincidental, but it, irony has a shifting definition based on what songs are in the Billboard Top 40 at the present moment, i.e. Jagged Little Pill, 98's best album. But, um, let's, uh... Let's ignore the fact that it would be ironic if I died on this run after chiding Mathis for complaining about having seven spirit hearts on an Eden run of his own that he ended up winning. I'll admit, if the universe likes to play games, this one's got to make its game of the year list. But let's try to rebuke it. Let's try to throw a monkey wrench into those plants. Really easy boss uh, trap room fight here. Really, to be honest with you, considering our rate of fire, I'm just waiting on Guppy. We got one Guppy item. 
fairly like modest odds of completing the guppy transformation, I'd say. You know, if you get one guppy item on the first deal with the devil, what are your odds for the rest of the run? Maybe like one third. It's so maybe like a 30% chance to become guppy. That's still pretty good. And we did become guppy on the last run. I don't know if that makes us more, less, or equally likely to become guppy on this run, but it doesn't really matter right now. We know we got a good deal with the devil chance, so I kind of want to do the bare minimum due diligence here and like see if we can get an HP upgrade so we're not spending three spirit hearts, which does have a negative impact on our survival relative to spending one uh, red heart. We could probably go buy a spirit heart, but instead I'm going to use my bomb like that, and we did find secret room. Contains a battery charge, which we didn't really need, but I'm going to use it anyway. And we'll just go fight the boss right away and see what we get. Hopefully HP on the boss fight, I suppose. But in the end, you know, eight spirit hearts is still enough to take a deal with the devil. Maybe two if we really like them, but it'd have to be, uh, have to be a heck of a bargain. The best I ever had. The best I ever had. Roger Daltrey. I was going to... There, I had a whole tangent lined up. About, uh, about what if we fight Krampus, maybe I shouldn't use the, uh, Crank the Sky. And then I was like, nah, what are the odds? Turns out better than I thought. Now, Lump of Coal is awesome for us. I mean, we've got good shot speed. Uh, we could bomb our way into the shop, I guess. We've got good shot speed and incredible range and great rate of fire. So basically, it's like perfectly created. To be like the ideal lump of coal run. And actually that uh, stone chest worked out pretty nicely down there. But we're still just lacking like... I, th I think at least we're still lacking just slightly in the damage department. Although to be honest with you, the speed at which we dispatch those bomb flies is making me think twice about that statement. I'm also wondering why we are getting such a high degree of... Uh, of sacks instead of just like random consumable drops at the end. We don't have Sack Boy, so I'm I'm surprised, pleasantly surprised, admittedly, but maybe there's an item interaction I'm missing or something. So we did get an internal heart here. Still plenty of time uh, when it comes to boss rush, so no reason to sweat that. And we just keep getting at least decently stronger, so there's nothing to worry about in that department right now. Ah, you gotta take Explosivo. We're really lucky, actually, in the sense that we're getting a lot of items that give us a great uh, synergy with what we're presently strong at. You know, we got a really high rate of fire, good range, high shot speed. Here's a couple of items that are going to make it really easy for you to uh, dispatch enemies. And I think we're just going to head down to the next floor. And to be honest with you, this run is probably strong enough to feel, like, really darn good about... Beating boss rush. So, pardon my French on the D word there, but really darn good about beating boss rush. Teleporting, still preferable, but uh, the explosivo shots are going to do a ton of damage. And normally you got to be like, okay, well, they, sure, they'll do a ton of damage, but you can't rely on them that much. You know, they're, they're only going to come out semi frequently, but we're actually shooting so fast that I'd expect to get them all the time here. This will be a good test to see how well this will work. Yeah, what, <laughs> once we start stacking up uh, these Explosivo shots, the enemies really do not stand a chance. This is a, a much more powerful run than might meet the eye right now. And I think that especially it's good for room clearing, but especially for bosses, this is looking ridiculous right now. Bosses that don't, you know, jump away and cause our our Explosivo shots to disappear anyway. It's looking extremely likely. Of course, we could get a, a, a re-roll room or something, but it's looking extremely likely this will be win 26. Let's make for one hell of a, a summer of Isaac here if we just, like, never lost another run. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves, though. There's still a lot of summer left. There's still a lot of this run left. But a man can dream, you know? Ambition. It's important sometimes. Sometimes, you know, absolute ambition corrupts absolutely. We all know that old expression. That old bone mo. But what about the other bone mo? Absolute power is flippin' sweet. The end. I can't deal with Marked. We'll take Seraphim. Which I don't think is amazing, but contributes to the uh, Leviathan transformation. 
kind of not really paying attention to our shops on this run because we the one thing we haven't had on this run is money we haven't had much of it at least and I'd, if we're like close enough to get one item but we'd have to uh, we'd have to blow up the donation machine I'm like I'd rather just go in there and like donate to our donation machine I, 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 I've got a mom's pearl that joke is that probably only gets played on Canadian radio right you, you Americans and people from other parts of the world out there, do you know 5440? Saying, Ocean Pearl is what I... They're kind of like our... I don't know. Our pavement or something. Not really, though. Sloan is more like our pavement. Anyway, um, have not been to the item room on this I guess we'll check. We might as well still check. To call 5440 our pavement is like a... I'm not trying to slight 5440, but it's like... Pavement, they got quite the track record under their belt. I don't think we really care about theirs options at this point. Now, I bought strength basically just to check if it was going to uh, be a card that would allow us to teleport out of boss rush. Since it's not, I think we just go down to the next floor. Really good odds of getting a deal with the devil. Really good odds of getting a uh, uh, a little bit of a swipe at boss rush and see what we got going on over there. For now, though, let's just head down to this next floor. It's been a really easy, you know, breezy, beautiful cover run so far. And on the dank devs, too. Basically cannot scare me. We've got, like, the perfect assortment of HP right now, by the way. Enough that, you know, we're not worried about death, but also distributed properly so that I can still feel like I can go uh, into this boss trap room. Well, they, let me put it this way. Distributed properly so that we can still go into this boss trap room. We're not precluded from doing so. We got Bob's Rotten Head. It's, you know, probably likely to not do anything for us on this run. There's our teleport card. I'm sorry, two of spades. You know what you were this whole run? You were a bulletproof vest. You know, making sure that we could always access the item room. The bulwark, the vanguard of our access to items. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your service. I used it pretty inefficiently, but you know what? It got the job done. No consumable drop there. Uh, I do think that the Joker is more valuable as a teleport card than as a deal with the devil enabler here. But if we can get two birds stoned at once, why not? And it really is more beneficial for us to not get the deal with the devil now, because that indirectly gives us a better chance of getting a deal with the devil on the next floor. Or directly. I don't know. In this case, it's hard to establish the direction of the situation. 16 minutes, and we're probably about maybe a quarter to a third of the way done with this floor. And to be honest with you, there's a lot of runs where you kind of like disproportionately, you know, like you'll... Start out and you'll get like a couple of really good items that get strong But then you kind of taper off and you start to get used to this, you know growth And then it starts to slow down and you're like I'm not doing as much damage as I wish I was doing at this point in the game We haven't really had that we've had a fairly consistent increase in uh, in power level as the game has gone on I mean you can look at the item bar on the right side and see that honestly We've been pretty lucky with what we've gotten Explosivo was a huge pickup lump of coal was an enormous pickup What's bigger, huge, or enormous? I'm not going to get into that this time. Enormous sounds like one of those words that's based on, like, a Latin word. And an enor was, like, you know, the size of a talent of silver or something like that. Don't get me started. Don't even get me started. Still got tons of HP here. Obviously, item room and shop still important. Six bombs. Not essential but if I could find like a better teleport card that lets us use the Joker for something else that's also dope yeah, I was expecting Explosiva to work there it might have been Bob's brain now that I think about it I'll always take the keys you never know when a Yara rune might show up and you know make us look like an idiot so I do appreciate that what's my ideal deal with the devil item now I'm trying to think honestly I would love a one-two punch of like the mark and the pact. Another, like, we're, one HP is really, like, the world's your oyster for deals with the devil, usually. I just wanted to see what we got. In, I'm just going to donate. Um, even a few cents helps, man. You know? I think that's true in real life most of the time. I think it's true in, uh, in the Isaac donation machine world as well. But um, one health... 
basically means that we can get the nine lives pick up for free. So if we get nine lives, really the ideal deal with the devil for us, especially since we do have a beat on that guppy transformation, is like nine lives plus anything. Got a little tiny infamy here. That's better than no infamy at all in my world. And we're definitely going to have a stab at boss rush. Certainly you take the passive here and like the knockback is going to be ridiculous. Probably bad, but I can't pass up the tears upgrade. Uh, I'm happy with it here. And our secret room contains another golden chest. And I know I said every cent counts, so I'd feel like a hypocrite if I didn't at least go down here and check this out. Even though we could buy that, maybe double our keys. I'm thinking, just keep it easy. You know what the eagle said. Mm, keep it easy. Even if you got five cents and you could buy a card, maybe you should just donate that money. A classic eagle's gen. That's an Austin joke. He'll, he'll like that one. Of course, he doesn't have time to watch this content, but it's fine either way. Somewhere, Austin has a smile on his face. He doesn't know why. So we did get a deal with the devil. We get Gimpy and Dark Bum. We really should take these together. As much as it looks dangerous, Gimpy giving us these extra red hearts is really valuable. <laughs> Don't hate me for this, but I think you go Sagittarius. It's so good, but both of those items had the potential to really work together here. I recognize that I didn't do things the zany way there, and you know what? I'm okay with it. I really am. But I think the, uh, the gimpy red heart action is going to be super nice here. That's the real reason I'm doing this boss rush. I mean, another reason is that we really should be just doing a fuck ton of damage. And we'll get another item out of this either way. But a big thing is I expect that with all the red hearts on the ground, there will be a chance for us to get a uh, a lot of spirit hearts as well. If Dark Bum, you know, finds it in his heart to actually go down here and check on some shit for the first time ever. And you know what? Crack the Sky's been doing work, man. As much as I've insulted this item over the years. Another great Eagle song. Insulted me over the years. Insulted me several times. Insulted me all while having beers. Said my face looked like the lime. That did that. I enunciated that so poorly. The punchline was supposed to be, said my face looked like a lime, which uh, I think would have been just silly enough to be funny. But instead, face looked like the lime. Just doesn't make any sense. Fucked it up yet again. And now you're doing your Jack Nicholson impression for no reason. And then if you bring it down a few years, it's Christian Slater. It's the laziest impressions. I have to admit. So you're not dead yet, huh? Alrighty, that was easy enough. I mean, crank this guy. The whole point of this conversation was to say that I actually have been really pleased with Crack the Sky so far. It has had a, a much longer lasting uh, experience on this run than it typically does for me. I really wish these Explosivo shots, after the enemy died, they didn't explode. Because what are they exploding on? The corpse? Oh, then if you can explode on the corpse, why can't you explode on the ground when an enemy jumps, uh, but you have the bomb attached to it? Doesn't make any darn sense, in my opinion. little k-pop action going on in the background here it's all right just consider it part of the price of the ed the edutainment you're experiencing right now see if you can name that tune I hope we get another oh <laughs> Just about to say I hope we get another item that's on the caliber of the items we've received so far and to be honest with you I think we, we fit the bill. It is going to lower our rate of fire, so now I definitely am happy we took all the rate of fire upgrades we got. And I'm super happy we took Piercing Shot, but um, Soy Milk could have been fun with this as well. Alright, so we, we do temporarily have to be concerned about our HP, and that's why I'm not going to go to this uh, Curse Room immediately unless the Secret Room is adjacent, which it isn't. Um, and immediately I'm going to go back on that and go to the Curse Room because I'm lazy. And... 
It has probably backfired. Ooh, or has it? Not, not to a great extent. We got a spirit heart out of it. So we went one spirit heart down there. That's okay. This, if we get enough HP, I think could be our second hush run in a row. Seems like a fun, uh, fun one to take down to hush. Although we might be a little low on keys, and honestly, being low on keys makes me not really want to go fight hush for essentially no reason. Um, we'll just keep moving on for now. First, we got to make it to the hush fight, but I think that that's extremely likely to happen. But for now, we really do need to give Dark Bum all of the uh, all the red hearts, because you never know. I mean, four and a half is not a whole lot of spirit hearts. I mean, it's definitely no seven. Let's be honest about it. Pretty flies really good. If we could get up to a ridiculous number of spirit hearts, say seven spirit hearts, for example, I would feel completely safe. I would feel like there's basically no chance that anything could possibly go wrong. Wonder if this counts as a second Bob item for a transformation, even though we just had Bob's Rotten Head earlier. I don't know, and quite frankly, I don't really care, but uh, the Bob transformation a little, you know, not that useful. Um, I think, mostly because I don't know what it does. We're definitely going to have to go through that big room. Call that right now. But hopefully this sorts it out. Although, honestly, these are like the easiest enemies we could possibly face, so let's not sweat it too much. Alright, I was wrong. Doesn't look like we had to go through the big room at all. I'm still holding out hope. Like, we gotta deal with the devil on the last floor. We could get one on this floor. I'm holding out hope we get that guppy dream. Now, it, admittedly, we don't have the HP we used to have, where we had one full red heart, and that was gonna be our ticket to paradise there. That was actually very good timing. Um, this is the big room that I was talking about. I was like, we have to go through this big room, of course. You thought I was talking about the other big room? That's ridiculous. We obviously do not have to go through the other big room. Thanks for making a spider. That's really helpful. Um, uh, we got poker chip. I don't think we need to, you know, indulge in the desperation of using the poker chip here. Dark bum. First mod I make, man. Dark Bomb speed upgrade. Preferably, I want him to be so fast that you can't even see him. I want him to be like the Flash. You know, in many ways, like, I feel like superhero... Well, let's not say superheroes, but comics. They have a lot in common with wrestling. In that, there's a suspension of disbelief. And I'm not disparaging these as hobbies. I'm, I'm just ignorant of them. There's a suspension of disbelief that I don't understand. For example... In the comics, you know, the comics. Um, okay, we will use Joker here. I don't think we need the pony. I mean, the pony. Crack the Sky has been good. Let's show some customer loyalty here. I'll take Succubus and two Spirit Arts. Why doesn't Superman always win? He's got every superpower. Alternatively, why is the Flash kind of like a B tier superhero? Shouldn't he, like,. Basically be invincible. He controls. I mean, he doesn't control time, I suppose, but He he can run At the speed of light essentially and accomplish anything in an instant Could the flash beat Superman? If the answer is no, is it no because Superman has the same powers as the flash? If so, why does the flash need to exist? It doesn't make sense to me like he's like a I mean, I'm not, again, trying to insult the Flash. I'm just trying to build a logical, like, flowchart in my head here that makes sense to me. Like, I understand that Batman versus Superman wasn't just, like, Batman fighting Superman. You know, there's some more cerebral elements to it than that. I haven't seen the film myself yet. But some, there's sometimes where I'm just like, this superhero is, like... Like, it, I wasn't the first person to come up with this, by the way. But, in the Avengers, why isn't Tony Stark given his suit... To everybody, or at least like the people he can trust, right? Like I guess he gave one to War Machine, and that's something. We're supposed to, oh yay, Tony Stark. But wouldn't every Avenger be stronger if they were in the Iron Man suit? So you're gonna tell me that Tony Stark is like not giving them Iron Man, like Black Widow? That's that's the one that seems the most obvious to me. Black Widow in an Iron Man suit. She's already a spy, now she's like a super spy with, you know, rocket launchers attached to her hands. There's no way that doesn't make her a better Avenger. I, I can't really go to that room right now, unfortunately. 
And if you're going to say, well, Tony Stark is very protective about the Stark industry, you know, proprietary uh, suits, blah, blah, blah. He should really lighten the fuck up, considering that in, you know, the Avengers 2, he basically created the threat that the world is so, you know, nearly doomed by. So, really feel like he should get his head out of his ass and give Black Widow uh, an Iron Man suit. It just doesn't make sense to me. I maybe maybe it's a sex cells sort of thing. So you're like, you know, I can't. Uh, you know, we've got to put some Black Widow butts on the movie poster. We can't put her in an Iron Man suit. But it, you know what? I I will accept it if they don't put Black Widow in an Iron Man suit. But they at least have a conversation about it in one of the future Avengers movies. Like one of the Avengers goes, "Hey, Tony, why don't you just give us one of your Iron Man suits? That'd be really useful. Like, why are we hopping on an airplane?" When we could be getting inside of, you know, Jarvis here. I guess he's not, you know, it's a different story altogether right now. But, um, and then be, you know, just fly there in our Iron Man suit. And then he could be like, oh, you're not ready for it. And it could be a nice moment for banter, but... And the reason I even brought up professional wrestling is because... It's, like... It, it feels like there's comparisons between the two for me. But I, you know, that's, that's another subject for another day, I suppose. Let's see what we got in here. All right, yeah, we'll take Succubus, and by Succubus, I mean Incubus, and then we'll take Abaddon along with it. This, to say Abaddon, and talking about a Abaddon, Abaddon, whoa, anyway, we'll head down to the next floor. Again, don't mischaracterize me as thinking that, like, this is disparaging the hobbies of watching professional wrestling or, or superhero um, films or, or properties in general. It's just these are, these are questions that pass through my head as I watch these things, you know? In wrestling, I'm like, do the other wrestlers believe that The Undertaker is dead? I don't get it. When, pe when people in the audience boo a professional wrestler, are they booing the wrestler? Or are they booing the persona of the wrestler? If so, is the audience a character in and of itself? You know, these are the questions that, that pass through my mind while considering watching professional wrestling. I understand the suspension of disbelief, but I guess I haven't, I haven't quite gotten there yet. Um, Cricket's Head was an amazing pickup here. We are, this is the second run in a row where we're gonna fight Hush. Like, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. Look at the size of these goddamn tears. Once Explosivo starts popping off, it's all over. Now all we need is Sad Bombs. There's no way that guy is not dead. Are you kidding me? Somehow we're not hitting him with any of these shots in here? This has been a an extraordinarily solid Eden run here. And I'm happy because, the honestly, several of the last few have been a little tough. They've been a little on the tougher side, you got to admit. At least in the opening acts. Like, you know, obviously we finished the last one with Tech X, Mom's Knife, Succubus, blah, blah, blah. Incubus, I mean, we didn't actually have Succubus on that one. But um, several of the last few have started tough, at least, and then... You know, we managed to get our traction. This one has kind of been overpowered since the very beginning, which is, you know, I, I prefer it that way. <laughs> Getting, like, really good efficiency on this boss fight. I'm not sure what's doing it. It's like he's he's going down and spawning enemies, but the Explosivo shots are killing all the enemies, like, seconds later. So he doesn't really get a chance to do, uh, to hide, out, hide away for too long. I'm for it. scared over here. Oh, it's a spirit heart, though. Dark bum? Or maybe we got hit there and that was gimpy and I just didn't notice. Either way, like, even though our HP is not max and we don't have any way to guarantee it's at max, I think we have enough fail safes to ensure that we're probably totally sorted on this run. Man, remember in... Oh, spirit heart there. Remember in Vanilla Isaac when you could just get HP that was actually off the screen? In hindsight, that change has, has made the game much more dynamic. feel like it would be much easier to maintain a, a pretty ridiculous win rate if you could get, like, 70 HP. And I, I like that it's, uh... I mean, I was gonna say more difficult, but I don't want that to be misinterpreted. I like that it's a little bit more difficult, but it's not really, the, you know, that hard. Most of the time. The fun in Isaac now is not necessarily the thrill of, you know, will he lose or won't he lose. It's more like the fluidity of the language of the game and, you know, 
the the flow chart of the decision making process, and then also letting my mind wander and make references to 5440, a Canadian band that uh, I was only reminded of their existence mere days ago. Uh, Kidney Stone? I mean, I don't know if it's good, but we'll take it. We definitely don't want anything else here. I, I like Kidney Stone usually. I'm not sure if it's like the right choice for us right now, is all I mean by that. I'm not trying to insult Kidney Stone, an item that. As uh, you know, I've gone on record as saying I have pretty nice affinity for. I will say, ooh, there's a card in there. When, oh, it's emergency contact. When we uh, get Kidney Stone to pop off, any enemy in its way is fucked. Any damsel that's in distress, be out of that dress when she meet Jim West. Troubling implications, Jim, I gotta admit. I mean, are you rescuing these damsels in distress because it's your job you have a sense of honor and duty or is it just because they be out of that dress when they meet Jim West you know if so doesn't that create like an uncomfortable implication if you get rescued by Jim West you're like I mean I'm kind of like seeing somebody but any damsel that in, that's in distress be out of that dress when she meet Jim West you know that's the old, as the old saying goes I'm not trying to condone it at all in fact quite the opposite like, any damsel that's in distress has a chance to return to a position of relative safety and comfort before she decides if she wants to continue a sexual relationship with Jim West. G any damsel that's in distress might have sex with Jim West, but will only have that conversation when she's not under duress. There you go. See? And you thought I, I couldn't re-engineer the rap lyrics to be friendlier without compromising Will Smith's no-nonsense hardcore flow and his bad boy image that for which he's become famous. Any damsel that meets Jim West may have intercourse with Jim West, but first make sure she's out of duress. Uh, something like that'll work. Or how about any damsel that's in distress will be out of duress when she meets Jim West? There you go, problem solved. We're gonna make Wild Wild West family friendly. I just, like, I like Will Smith, I just wish he wasn't such a bad boy. He's always talking, he's talking such trash. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Is that a chest back there? It looks like it was a nothing, actually. Yeah, nothing maybe. Okay, so we're just gonna finish this off. It's another run that like had no reason to be this long, but I'm glad that it was. We got to talk about some good stuff today. I hope you guys had as much fun with this as I did. Get one last item here. Oh! <laughs> How could you? We're gonna go uh, fight Mega Satan now with the rules card. Where the heck is this? Special room. It's gotta be like all the way back here. Of course, the last item you get is Dad's key. Might as well take Whipworm in here. Oh, that's fun though. Wouldn't this be it? Oh no, it's got it's the one way up here. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I guess we take Isaac's tears. It doesn't really matter though. I mean, Crack the Sky was not charged, so I'm thinking that it's probably gonna get the kill pretty quickly here. Maybe the most important thing to watch out for is just whenever we have Kidney Stone charged, which we accidentally popped by using Isaac's Jar of Tears, proving that even on like a one run, this item can still be kind of an asshole. You are basically more fucked than you could possibly realize. Oh, this Super Envy is going down so hard. That's beautiful. Yeah, this is like one of the strongest Mega Satan runs we've ever had, full stop. I'm really glad we were able to make like the rest of this run live up to the bargain that the start of this run had. I just wonder how it would look if we had gone with soy milk instead. Look at the size of these like lump of coal explosivo shots. I don't even know if they do more damage, but just the the fact that they look like they do more damage is is the valuable aspect here. All right, he's going to be dead in like two explosivo shots. It did only take two. It took two and then some, but still. All right. Good episode. We're up to 26 wins, I think. 26. Yeah, 26 wins. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.